Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative. Today I'm going to show you a really handy trick on how to add an auto updating copyright year to your Divi layouts. Now we're not going to use any code and this is important because in the new theme builder, the bottom bar where it used to say, you know, copyright 2019 and then your website name, well that goes away when you add a footer with the theme builder. So again, I'm gonna show you how to do this very, very easily with dynamic content right in the Divi Builder. All right, so let's get started. All right, so in order to set up our auto updating footer copyright here, we are actually going to use dynamic content. So this came out a while back. It's a really great feature and it actually works really good with the theme builder. So when the theme builder came out, it actually brought with it some changes and one of those is the bottom bar in Divi. So this bottom bar that used to say something like designed by elegant themes or powered by WordPress, something like that. Well, when you assign a footer using the theme builder, this whole bottom bar goes away and it allows you to create your design in Divi. So, you know, one of the first things that people are looking to do is add the copyright year. And I actually have, you know, the only solution out there for this. So I'm really excited to show you. So it's really simple. We're going to go here and add a text module and go to this, you know, this corner here, use dynamic content. And we're going to type in here, first of all, choose the current date. So we've chosen the current date option, but in this area here, we're actually going to type in uh, the word copyright, and then go ahead and copy this copyright symbol from the tutorial, which is linked in the video. So before copyright at, and then add a space, make sure there's a space, okay? And you can already see it being populated, copyright at November 12, 2019. Well, we don't want the full date, so go down here to date format, choose custom, and then type a capital Y has to be a capital Y. And then you can go ahead and um, save that. So copyright at copyright 2019. Now, if you want to add you know, your site title, you could add that here um, like that. And again, that was having a space before the word so that it looks like everything's spaced out right. Now, someone, believe it or not, someone actually asked in the Facebook group, well, they didn't want that because um, this was, you know, you had to manually type that in. They wanted that to be automatic too. And right now there's, there's no obvious way to add two dynamic content blocks next to each other. So I actually have the solution for that. Let's go ahead and get rid of the site title. All right. So add another text module. It's going to duplicate that one. And, um, this time when you use dynamic content, choose site title. So as you know, that's the name that you put into WordPress in the settings or in the customizer. So there's my site title and that's great, but, but you see how it's stacked below it. And of course we want to put that in line horizontally. So what we're going to do is actually go to our written tutorial. You're going to find a little snippet of code. And let's go ahead and I'm going to just put it here in the page settings, but you can put it in your theme option CSS. So we're going to take this PA-inline-module, that class. So first of all, it's going to be here, but we're going to go into the row, okay, the, the green row settings. Go to advanced, CSS ID and classes, go into the CSS class and paste that there and make sure there's no dot at the beginning. And you can see right there, it updated already. So we're almost done, except, uh, you know, it looks like it's a little too close. So what I just did, I went in here to, to one of them. So I chose the first one and just add a little, I think it's about like, I thought like three or four pixels was the right amount of space. So there you go. So if I was to ever change the name of the website, or if you have this, uh, this layout developed for yourself and you're going to use it on multiple sites and you go and import this footer section into any site, it's going to automatically populate correctly. 
All right, so you may be wondering, well, what about you know footer links like a privacy policy? Well, you can actually just add you know the HTML in here in the after section. So you might want to start with start with a space actually, and then a vertical bar, and we're just going to paste a link in here. So there you go. And then don't forget, you can just you know go up in your text module settings here and uh, style the link the way that you want that to look. All right, so you can see how easy that was. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I know it's a popular tutorial on our blog, and I really hope this video um, really adds a lot of value and you can put this to good use on your website. All right, feel free to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.